how to fix nvidia display graphics card not showing hi everyone welcome back to our channel chini guide in today's video i will guide you on how you can fix if your nvidia's displays control panel settings are not showing up just like you see on this one so make sure to watch the video till the end as well so maybe in your case you're not being able to see this type of control panel settings of nvidia right now first of all very first thing you have to understand is what kind of graphics you actually have or what do you actually use so to do figure that out what we want to do is we want to go ahead and then open up device manager once you open up device manager just go to display adapters and then here you can see i'm using nvidia geforce gtx 1650 now in your case it could be amd radeon or whatever else r5 or r7 graphics or whatever else in my case it's nvidia so you want to make sure to remember the name of this now just open up your browser once you open up your browser you simply want to type in nvidia graphics download in google right so just go ahead and type in nvidia graphics driver download and then basically you'll be taken to the official website because you can see official drivers download now over here we have to select the product type so over here you can see product type which in my case was geforce then it was geforce series now you have different types of series over here now remember which one is yours one in this case it was gtx so i'm just going to so go ahead and then select the gtx series in this case so in my case it was a geforce 16 series and again under the product tab i have to select 1650 because mine was gta 1650 right then you have to select your operating system now you could select windows 11 but currently for windows 11 the graphics is not available so you might as well want to select windows 10 and you can see download type and you can see language right so once you select your driver downloads and then make sure to specify this correctly just click on the switch button here so once you click on switch button you'll be able to see the drivers so i'm going to just click on the download button so basically after you have downloaded this driver you have to go ahead and install it so i'm going to just click on the download button again and i'm just going to click on the download and then hit the yes button it's going to take a while to download so we're going to be patient and then simply wait so as you can see the download has been basically complete make sure to choose your drivers correctly and download it now i'm going to just click on open over here once i click on open it will take us to the installation process so we want to follow the on-screen instructions and then go ahead and then install the drivers accordingly and this time you should be able to find that specific drivers so hope this video helped you solve your problem if it did help you then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have got any questions though feel free to leave them down thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video